Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Gracias for checking out the video. I'm RJ. We are here at the famous Mount Chiliad. Anyone who's played GTA 5 has hiked to the top of the mountain, found the mural, and then looked into the Chiliad mystery. Even going back to the original San Andreas, it seems like Mount Chiliad was created to give off mysterious vibes. So through this mystery, we have found UFOs, an alien egg, and the character Omega is completely open-ended. He tells us about the UFOs. We have to go around collecting spaceship parts for him, only to bring them back. He says, I'll see you on the other side, brother. Gives us the crappy space docker, and then we never hear from him ever again. It is little things like that that have the community thinking that the Chiliad mystery goes unsolved. And a lot of people have been hitting me up recently telling me that the Chiliad mystery is soon going to continue. I'll explain that in this video. Much love, guys. If we can reach 1,000 likes on this video, then I'll give out $500,000 in GTA Online money to someone in the comment section. So help out. Hit the like button. You can even save it up instead of spending it in GTA Online. Maybe you can spend it in Red Dead Redemption 2. It might be worth more money there compared to here in modern era Los Santos. I don't know how that works, but help out. Hit the like button. I apologize for not having a live stream yesterday. I guess YouTube was broken or something. So we'll make up for it. We'll have a live stream coming up after this video. Hit the notification button. It'll let you know when it begins. So when it comes to the Chiliad mystery, a lot of people have also reached out saying, Trippy, is it true that Rockstar confirmed the Chiliad mystery was moved to GTA Online? Now, that is not the case. I know some people are confused about that. But there were some major leaks telling us that there was going to be a big DLC. In fact, three big DLCs in the game including a UFO takeover. So from all accounts, it looks like the Chiliad mystery was maybe going to continue via DLC. Now at this point, we're not going to have any single player DLCs. We've seen some of the content that was leaked in the Doomsday DLC and I think also the Bunker mission. Basically, we've seen, you know, fragments of that leak in GTA Online DLC. So that kind of confirms that the leaks were legit. They were right and there was supposed to be some massive DLCs. Now another leak was a zombie mode, kind of like an undead nightmare for GTA Online. We never got that. They said that there's still going to be updates in GTA Online after Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out, but there's also been leaks that the undead nightmare will continue in that game. So maybe they're holding out. While many of the leaked information has come true, and we've seen it in missions like the Doomsday DLC finale, where we go inside of Mount Chiliad, some information has not been used. So it's somewhere out there. And that is why people think that the Chiliad mystery may continue in Red Dead Redemption 2. So when we first play that game, we know there's going to be some massive mountains. Of course, a lot of wilderness to explore. Will there be a Mount Chiliad or at least a massive mountain much like Chiliad? That is probably going to be the first thing we're going to check out. You guys know that when that game releases, we're going to live stream day one, not only playing through the storyline, but also mystery hunting. Rockstar recently unveiled in the recent trailer that there is going to be tons and tons of secrets to find. Do not forget that one of Rockstar's bread and butter maneuvers is to load the game up with Easter eggs. That is why people still talk about games like Vice City, San Andreas with unsolved Easter eggs and secrets. And Rockstar kind of does that with all their games. People love a great mystery. And I can tell you for certain that that is going to continue in Red Dead Redemption 2, most likely in an even bigger effect. I think there will be more Easter eggs and more myths, secrets, all that hidden stuff to find in Red Dead Redemption 2 than is here in Grand Theft Auto 5. So, of course, we talk about the Chiliad mystery. Look at this. We got the platform. The UFO spawns here with 100%. And there's two other secret UFOs, but you can't really interact with them. It really does seem incomplete. And I think that even though they were going to add perhaps the rest of the Chiliad mystery into GTA Online, I don't think they used it all, guys. Maybe they said instead of putting everything from the Chiliad mystery in GTA Online, we save it for the next single player experience and keep it in single player. There is most likely a reward or something that they can give you in single player, but not in GTA Online, if you know what I mean, if that makes sense to you guys. So the question is, Will the Chiliad mystery continue in Red Dead Redemption 2? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. That is the main theory right now. With so many people giving up on the Chiliad mystery here in Grand Theft Auto 5. Once again, like I said, there's still a good chance that something remains hidden in this game for us to find. And we are certainly not going to give up. But I can tell you that a lot of the hardcore mystery hunters are looking towards Red Dead Redemption 2. Just one minor example, you know, there's so many clues in the game about the lunar cycle. The moon moves, 
perhaps a certain cycle like the eclipse or the crescent moon is a time that you have to unlock something. I think it was originally intended for the game, but there's been no evidence or nothing like that found here in GTA 5. They could continue that in Red Dead Redemption 2. Obviously, there's other things that were unveiled in this game, like shadows. You can find hidden symbols within shadows. We've never seen that in another Grand Theft Auto game. The technology was just not good enough. Well, Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to have a lot more technology, or at least better graphics, more, you know, better looking god rays, all the little details like that. It's going to blow this game away. This is just an original Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 game with a fresh coat of paint for these next-gen consoles. Red Dead 2 is the first time that Rockstar is 100% making the game for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And they can use all that detail towards the mysteries and Easter eggs. We'll be looking for ghosts. Now, will there be UFOs in the game? Because that is really what the Chiliad mystery is all about. We're looking for the alien egg, the crashed UFO in GTA Online. And that's kind of where I question it, guys. How could they continue the Chiliad mystery in the Old West, considering most of it is based around UFOs? So do I expect the mountain, possibly Mount Chiliad, to be in the game with a mural on the top? Absolutely. We'll be looking for that day one. Hopefully you guys can join up live to experience that. But will it continue with UFOs? Look at this. You got a UFO. The egg, I'm guessing, is the alien egg. So far, that's really all we've been able to kind of coordinate with this mural, as far as secrets are concerned, finding the alien egg in GTA Online. And then the jetpack. There is no way that a UFO and a jetpack could be in Red Dead 2. We've talked about the possibility of the jetpack being in Red Dead. It would be funny. It would be great for the memes and all. But think about the hate that GTA Online is getting right now with the oppressor. People are saying that it's basically on the level of Saints Row now. It's hard to disagree. We got flying cars. It's far removed from any past Grand Theft Auto games. So to take that technology and then put it into Red Dead Redemption 2, that would be a total mistake. I I'm hoping on behalf of everybody that we do not see a jetpack in Red Dead 2, even though, yeah, it would be hilarious and it would be a fitting conclusion to the Chiliad mystery. But again, I want to hear from you guys. The theory is Red Dead Redemption 2 will have the continuation of the Chiliad mystery. It is definitely going to be one of the very first things we look out for in the game. Like I was saying, not only are we going to play through the storyline, see what Arthur Morgan is all about, and possibly meet John Marston again. Haunted locations, caverns to explore, and of course, gigantic mountains. The first mission we're going to have is to find the Chiliad of Red Dead Redemption 2. And if you look at the map, or at least the leak map, it almost looks like it's the entire United States and parts of Mexico represented in that game. Will it expand all the way to California, thus having San Andreas? It's almost like they can copy and paste Chiliad from this game. What do you guys think? What are your theories? Is the Chiliad mystery done gotta? Is it going to continue in the next Rockstar Games masterpiece? Or considering, because it's all about UFOs, an alien egg, I guess a jetpack, is that even impossible at this point, guys? It is a huge question mark. I feel like we're counting down towards these days where Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to be released. Thanks again for joining up for the episode. Like I said, hit the like button. That is much appreciated. It really helps it out in the YouTube algorithm. Special shout out to anybody who's new. We live stream every day, guys, and we are more interactive than anybody else here on YouTube.com. So be a part of the Trippy fam. I have a lot of love for the community, a lot of good friends, and we continue as the next Rockstar game comes out. So hit me up in the comments section below. Will the Chiliad mystery continue, or is it still to be solved? Is there still something missing that we need to find here in Grand Theft Auto V? We are setting up the Full Moon Party in GTA Online. We are going to hold it at the Two Hoots Falls. We just need the Full Moon Party to show up. Of course, the Full Moon. It is very rare in GTA Online. You cannot control the weather or the moon cycle like you can here in single player. And then we're going to throw the party. Maybe that is the missing link. Maybe we have to do something with Bigfoot only in Bigfoot form. But once again, that is just in single player. You can't turn into Bigfoot here in GTA Online. And there is no animals in GTA Online. I expect that to change in Red Dead Redemption 2. I think the online mode is not only going to have the mysteries and secrets to solve, but there's going to be animals and maybe even Bigfoot to find in that mode as well. Much love, guys. Just sounding off on something I've been getting hit up every day about the Chiliad mystery, trippy. Will Mount Chiliad be in Red Dead Redemption 2? I certainly hope so, guys. I'll catch you at the live stream coming up. 
be there guys hit the notification button until then as always make sure to stay trippy my friends